today we're in a completely different location. We're in Solihull. This is Chris's second box and that's why we're here. We're working out with Chris. We're kind of adding to the box tour bag. Never been here before. It's called Unit C and it's run by a guy called Paul who I've met before. So today should be epic. Let's go. How you doing mate? Welcome. Hey, you? How you doing? Good to see you. How was the travel? Yeah, nice to have all good. Boys with the hat. I've never seen Chris wear a hat ever. This is alter ego for his different box. Yeah. I have never ever seen you in a hat. Yeah, today is like, I'm getting a haircut on Thursday. Today is just like ridiculous. It's like a completely different man. <laughs> <laughs> You know the box is hardcore when it's got a crate full of beers. So you need the emoji with the heart eyes. <laughs> I really like the feeling of this box. It's got like the work feel. It's got like the raw, rugged, kind of garage, where CrossFit started feel. And it just kind of makes you want to train. I would highly recommend anyone who has the opportunity to go and like travel to another box and experience another box to kind of push yourself that little bit out of your comfort zone and just go and do it because the amount you can learn off different people and just different ways of doing stuff it can kind of be invaluable. It's just cool. It's just wicked. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can you rip your hand? Nightmare. What up? Unstable. Alright. Like, cool. As soon as you've done that, guys. What is going on team? Craig with you back with another commentary and this warm-up that we did at Unit C yesterday I thought was a really really good warm-up and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's great if you want to get muscles firing and the right muscles firing and activated for when you're doing snatch and clean and jerk any kind of Olympic lifting or to be honest if you're going to do anything barbell orientated like thrusters, front squats, back squats, power cleans etc. But anyway what you're seeing on the screen right now is part A of the warm-up and it's narrow stance squats. You can see that I'm really really tight this was my first set we're going for 10 reps, toes pointed inwards, and literally the space between your feet should be no wider than kind of a knuckle width. And then part B of this lower body portion is lunges. One length with toe pointed inwards, overstriding, making sure the hamstrings are really, really getting activated. And then on the way back with just a foot facing forwards. Both parts while stepping across the body. It's going to put that little bit more stretch on the glutes. And that's what these first two exercises are all about, warming up the hamstrings and the glutes, making sure there's enough blood going to them, making sure they're nice and warm because they are two of the most powerful muscles within the body and they're crucial kind of in the posterior chain when you want to get a good powerful snatch, a good powerful clean and jerk. Make the move just a little bit more snatch specific, we have gone hands above head in a snatch grip. Even though when looking at it, it seems pretty insignificant, it is going to warm up your upper back and it's going to warm up the stabilizing muscles around the shoulder joint and the shoulder girdle. So then we go on to this next part, which is more snatch specific upper body warm up. I'm just going to keep this next bit very short and sharp because everyone has their different ways of warming up the upper body for snatch. This one I actually really enjoyed. It was five snatch pulls into five muscle snatches into five snatch press in a front rack position, keeping the torso really nice and tight and not leaning backwards. And then into five push presses in snatch position again for four rounds. And that was kind of the bulk of a warm up. It took us around 20, 30 minutes, but felt really, really good afterwards. And then we went on to do a barbell complex, which you're gonna see coming up, and then a really, really cool workout, which I thoroughly enjoyed. But I hope you are enjoying the video, and if you do enjoy these videos, please hit the like rate, and it really, really does help the channel. I can't explain how much it does. Um, I may do in a video <laughs> in the future, but you guys rock, and uh, thank you for coming back every single video and supporting the channel. We'll talk to you guys later on in the video. <laughs> We're nice and warm for the barbell complex and the barbell complex is one snatch pull into two power snatches. Taking about three minutes to kind of loosen up with like 40 kg, 30 kg, so I mean it's kind of nice and light and then we're going to take the next 10 minutes to build up to a manageable but heavy weight. Nothing like overly heavy that causing yourself like to go into bad form, just to a good weight that you know you're moving weight but you're not breaking your form. Form is always key. The better your form the more efficient you become, the more efficient you become over time the better you get, you know, so form over everything.
the metabolic conditioning today is we're doing intervals. We're doing two minute segments. Segment one is gonna be 400 meter on the rower, and segment two is gonna be nine snatch deadlifts at 50% of the weight that we just did, so around 45 kg. Six hang power snatches, and then three full power snatches. We're gonna run through this five times. That's gonna get very tasty. The problem is when you chalk your hands, then you always have an itch. Well, I just wanted... Where's your itch, Craig? is really nice. You get just enough rest so you can keep moving. Really well programmed. Done. How's it called? Different environment, different people. You just want to push yourself more because you don't want to, one, look silly, and two, there's people around you. It doesn't matter who they are. They push you anyway. Dude, oh. what a kind of uh, trip to yeah. yeah. Enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, it's good, man. Are we ready? We've got like 12 days now. Yeah, I'm actually ready. We've got matching hats there, isn't it? So we're good to go. We have to now rep hats on the floor. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not ready for that. It's never the, um, there's a cinnamon one left. This one's my favourite. Double chocolate brownie. What's yours? Um, the white chocolate and the chocolate one, so I got two. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere we go that has Battle Oaks bars, Jasmine is there and she like, she at least gets two. But they are a good post-workout, so... Can't complain. Everyone, see you later. Gosh, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. See you later, Chris. Post workout kind of cool down today. We're going to play around the key. None of us are basketballers. You start at this dot, if you get it in, then you move to the next dot, and then the next dot, and then you move all the way around. Simple. Nice. I've got to put the back of the towel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, and then. A little bit of Sam Hunt playing. Everyone else has got a basket apart from myself and Jazz. We've been going for like five minutes now. Sorry, man. Oh man. Come on, give me, give us a I'm going. I'm going. Killing in your Levi's High on your love has got me buzzing like a street light It's still early out Can confirm <laughs> Not my game <laughs> Neither is in mine. Bry took the win today. <laughs> we were just awful. We were beyond awful. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I never claimed to be a good basketball player, so you know. Right, with your height. Oh darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Look at this scale. Jasmine just pointed out, this scared is to find out your weight for athletic milestone lifts, not to see that you've lost a few pounds. No one gives a sh. Test the weight you can lift, not think you've lost. That's so true. Mm hmm. It's a good message. Thank you for today. Cool, yeah, nice to meet you guys. I know I say this about every single box, but that was just cool. I have never been to a box that's never 
given me or Jasmine or anyone else like a bad vibe. I say this a lot in this like community and everything, but I stand by it. <laughs> They're always slightly different, but always so nice. No one box is the same. And that's the wonder of exploring. Post-workout wraps, courtesy of Jasmine. C for Craig. What's in it? Um. What's the difference between mine and yours? What have you spat in mine? <laughs> no, yours has got a little bit more in it, and it's got um, Nando's sauce and a little bit of light mayo. And mine's not got that in because one, the Nando's is too hot, and the mayo has got rapeseed oil in, so I can't have it. Jasmine's allergic to rapeseed oil. I am indeed. And it's in everything. Everything. It's even in the wrap, but <sighs> still gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with my camera. Like, it's not auto focusing, it's being really bad. Auto focus, auto focus. Jazz, my camera is not really auto focusing. No. But I don't know, like, usually it'll auto focus, but it's just not doing it. Maybe it's my hat. Oh, there we go, it was the hat.